Hello folks, Robert from Marine Depot here, and thanks for tuning in. Being new to the aquarium hobby is an exciting time. Learning all about proper aquarium husbandry and exposing yourself to a variety of animals that you probably didn't even know existed. With all of this excitement and anticipation, it's really easy to purchase a prefabricated all-in-one style aquarium or throw together a simple tank with just a canister filter and a heater. While albeit fast and easy, these types of tanks can pose some really frustrating problems in terms of aquarium filtration and maintenance. Now this brings me to the topic of our video today in which we're going to talk all about overflow boxes and sumps. So get ready to throw away that canister filter and break out the toolbox because we're going to show you guys just how easy and beneficial it can be to install an overflow box and sump on your aquarium at home. A sump is simply another aquarium or container that can house your equipment and provide extra filtration for your tank and it's typically located below your display tank inside your stand. An overflow box is basically a box with a drain and is the best way to draw water from your aquarium and into a sump. Overflow boxes are available from a number of manufacturers and you'll see a wide range of different styles and shapes. A hang on overflow box is the easiest way to get water out of your tank and into a sump. These types of overflow boxes simply hang on the side or the back of your aquarium and siphon water over the edge and down into your sump. The CPR CS overflows are our absolute favorite because they take up very little space inside the aquarium and have a built-in feature to restart the overflow box in the event of a siphon break. The most common reason for a siphon break when using an overflow box is a power outage, but these CS overflow boxes have a clever remedy. A small air nipple on top of the box can be attached to the venturi of a power head or to the inlet of an aqualifter pump, which will continually siphon air and water out of the overflow box to ensure continuous operation, and will also restart the siphon in the event of a power outage. Some aquariums, usually called reef-ready aquariums, are pre-drilled by the manufacturer and already have an internal overflow box installed. Water simply flows into the overflow box and drains down into the sump. A return pump then returns water from the sump back into the aquarium. For all of you DIY guys out there, we offer the CPR Overflow Box Retrofits, which are basically prefabricated acrylic boxes that allow you to permanently install an internal overflow on your tank without the risk of losing a siphon. The CPR Retrofit boxes will require you to drill a hole in your aquarium. The box is then mounted inside the aquarium, which allows water to flow from the surface into the box, then down into your sump. This type of overflow box does require a little bit more work, but results in a very clean installation and flawless operation. So once you've figured out your overflow box and your drain, it's time to start thinking about a sump. When it comes to sumps, you have a few different options. You can build one yourself, you can have one custom made, or you can purchase a prefabricated sump. Now if you decide to build one yourself, it will definitely save you some money and it will allow you to customize the sump to your liking, however it's going to require quite a bit of extra work. Here at Marine Depot we carry a few different prefabricated sumps. The Trigger System sumps are one of the best and their top of the line Emerald Series sumps come with all the bells and whistles built in and look pretty darn cool if you ask me. Trigger Systems put a lot of thought into the design of these sumps. One of the coolest features is the filter sock holder which has an interchangeable plate that allows you to run both a coarse filter sponge and filter socks together or individually, whichever you prefer. When using filter socks, the handy water dispersion plate evenly distributes water into all of the filter socks to avoid premature clogging and helps to drastically reduce the drain noise making for quiet operation. On top of this, the emerald sumps also feature an adjustable water height to accommodate different skimmer requirements. They have a self-adjusting foam block platform to help eliminate air bubbles, a dedicated section for filter media and refugium, probe holders, and pre-drilled holes for your dosing tubes. Instead of having all of your equipment hanging on your tank or sitting inside your display, an overflow box and sump allows you to have everything neatly hidden inside your sump. Centralizing all the equipment also makes maintenance and water changes much easier. The added water volume and filtration capacity will also improve your water parameters and make a more stable environment for your aquarium animals. So now you know why so many hobbyists are using sump systems, so if you're still stuck maintenancing canister filters or constantly cleaning up leaky hang-on equipment, give us a call today to get everything you need to add a sump to your system at home. 
If you found this video helpful, please like and share it to help out other hobbyists. And until next time, take care and happy reef keeping.